realm. I mean, we talk about it, Huff and I, but you know, you never really want to go into a season um, next season with really the, someone maybe not in the building. So uh, we kind of figured this season was what it was. We'd play it out. And we're still going to play it out. We're working hard. We're making sure that uh, we win football games. And uh, you know, we'll see how the future holds. But it's nice to get Jake uh, a couple more years, uh, you know, signing his name on the dotted line. And, and everything else is just basically going to have to uh, probably hold off for now because it's, it's about 2022. Yeah, it's good to have stability, contracts, all that. But we really should just focus in on 2022. So you're obviously very happy with what Jake's brought to the quarterback position since he's getting started. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's young and, and he's doing some things that most young guys don't do, which is basically be really efficient, do the right things, protect the ball, move in the pocket, uh, good decision making. And, you know, I do believe he's a winner. I mean, he finds ways to win games. So um, all the things that you like. And I know he's got a lot of room for improvement. He knows that. But uh, I do like where he's taken us. And as a team, we're growing. I mean, we're getting better as a full team. And that's, a, that's the key. we got to put back-to-back -back good performances out there. I thought last week was good. But now can we do it back-to-back? -back? It won't surprise you to hear that sort of the second announcement came out. Certain media outlets turn their attention to what this means for Bo's future. Yeah. Um, do you have any sort of sense of that? Um, well, I mean, I definitely uh, something I need to have a sense of. Uh, just keep himself ready, and uh, like you said, if, as soon as you get in that business, predicting the future, you probably shouldn't be in the CFL. Maybe go to Wall Street or try another job. If you know what the future is, feel free to let me know. Uh, keep working. He's practicing well. I know what type of character he has. You know, it's not it's not like anyone wouldn't be disappointed to not be playing, but just keep yourself ready, and when when and if that opportunity is there, go take advantage of it. Well, that's good. Look ahead to your left tackle spot on the weekend. We saw a lot of Josh Coker there today. Do you think he's sort of uh, ready to take over that role? Well, we wanted to see with him and Hugh, and uh, we're comfortable that Bryce can do it. Uh, so we wanted to give those guys a chance they hadn't played in a while. Um, ultimately, uh, uh, whoever it is, up against some really good uh, defensive linemen, some fast, powerful guys, uh, a team that has uh, a lot of different weapons. So uh, we'll need to be sharp at our offensive line. One more about Bo. Um, inevitably, there are going to be questions that, hey, are you guys going to deal with the deadline? But it seems like you guys like having two quarterbacks. This is, like I said, a little bit over my uh, realm again, out of my world. But um, you know, I like to Bo to speak for himself. But I would, he he's, shows up to work. He shows up early. He puts the time in. He's prepared. He's ready to win. All the things that Bo does, whether he's a starter, backup, or third string. So I would just uh, do it like that and uh, ultimately try to be part of something that you want to be at uh, 2022. This is a championship team. What are they